No one ain't for that good us, nganga, I go da, go da, I should be go da, nganga. Hey guys, so Adobe have launched a whole bunch of new AI services. We'll be taking a quick look at those in this video. But before we do that, I want to tell you about this special offer. If you are a student or teacher, there is currently a special offer for getting the Adobe Creative Cloud all apps. You can get that for £12.98. That's a 70% discount plus an extra 20% discount. That's limited until a couple of weeks from now. That's the largest discount I've ever seen for the Adobe Creative Cloud. This is just for students and teachers. If you are studying art, you're studying the Adobe Creative Cloud, you're studying accountancy, you're studying business, you can you got your business, you got your student card, you can sign up at this uh, discounted price. And that's for the student. I'll have a link to this page on the individuals. We also have, if you're not a student, there's also a discount 50% for three months. 50% for Photoshop and most of these features and most of these apps now do have some level of AI features inside of them. Adobe Firefly Standard, this is the new service and it's available in two portion sizes. One is the 998 one and then there's another one at about $28.99. So these are the two options that you've got for the Adobe Firefly uh, features that we're going to be looking at in this video. Now the big new launch is video but there's a lot of just quality of life features that they've introduced, which just improved the, the workflow. So we've got translate video, image to video, translate audio, scene to image. I might try that. I've been having some issues with that, but we may try that one later. Text to video and text to image. And before we carry on, I want to just tackle some misinformation because it would be a little bit unfair to, to, to just continue with that there's a lot of misinformation especially on youtube they talk about commercial safety that means they are guaranteeing that your if you use the ai to produce commercial material they're saying it is safe for commercial use there's been a lot of misinformation about adobe taking images that they're not entitled to use and then using those to train the ai so for instance if you upload an image to the beta to the video beta they're not going to take that and start using it to train their AI. And a lot of people have been misinterpreting what's actually written in the terms and conditions and saying, oh, they're stealing your work and using it to train AI. If you have stuff on Adobe stock, if you've uploaded to Adobe stock, there's a different terms and conditions there and they have a different way of dealing with that. And it's fair enough to complain about the terms and conditions there, but it's completely wrong to lie about what Adobe are actually doing. So the translate video is the one that I found most interesting, actually. This one, you upload material to the cloud and then you can translate the video to something else. They've got an example here, which we can see. OK, let's go. First, check online for maps, routes and weather conditions so you have a plan in advance. Second, always tell someone where you're going and for how long. So that's the English. Let's see if we can hear the French. Right, let's see. Chaque fois que vous prévoyez de faire de la randonnée ou de voyager dans un parc national ou d'état, il y a quelques étapes clés à suivre pour vous assurer une aventure sûre et incroyable. Tout d'abord, vérifiez en ligne les cartes, les itinéraires et les conditions météorologiques afin d'avoir un plan à l'avance. Deuxièmement, dites toujours à quelqu'un où vous allez et pour combien de temps. Enfin, emballez intelligemment. L'eau, la nourriture. So you can see he says enfin. So he's speaking genuine French there. You can got you can get uh, French, Canadian, German, Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. And you can see this is not lip synced, but there is another feature that they're coming up with, which will allow a degree of lip syncing. So you can do that with audio. You can do that with video. It can translate either or I think it's the same service. Let's take a look at the video services. Now, there's this new service which is coming soon, which is going to be where you can bring in audio and this bad, this bad girl here can actually read it out for you with uh, complete with lip syncing. There's enhanced speech, removing noise. You can already do this inside of Adobe Audition. Let's take a look at, shall we take a look at image to video? Let's take a look at text to video. So with text to video, we can put in an instruction here, what we want to see, and then we can start generating. Now, when we did this, 
when we spoke about this before, we speak, spoke about the creative cloud version of Firefly. So generative video inside of Premiere Pro. Now we spoke about that in a previous video, and that was when you can get a two second section that you can add to a video. Here you can create videos from scratch or you can create videos from images. We've got widescreen or portrait 16 by nine. We've got uh, just 24 FPS. Then you've got different shot sizes. And this is where I think Adobe gets interesting because they have got the user interface that allows you so much control. And we'll see how this user control, how this user interface can actually be useful. So we've got extreme close up all the way to extreme long shot. And then you've got the camera angle. So you can go aerial, eye level, high angle, low angle, top, top down shot. Then we've got the kind of motion whether you're zooming in, zooming out, etc., etc. We've also got the seed, so that's the advanced setting. And we haven't seen seed control before in the Adobe Firefly uh, environment. This is the only time I've seen it. This is the first time we've seen seed control. At the top, we've got our files, so we can go in here and I think we can see the generation history. Their website is running a little bit slow at the moment, so I'm just gonna pause. So here, here we are, they're coming up now. Now, one of the things I found with the Adobe Firefly models is that they are very skill dependent. The more skill you have, the better the quality of the image you can get. And the more practice you get, the, the better the results. So these are some images uh, which I created and um, some interesting stuff there. And then we've got a couple of videos. Let's go and take a look at the video. Let's take a look at the first one. So you've got this history now, whereas before, if you generated something, it just disappeared after you closed down your browser. Now for this one, I put in a handsome man with a hipster mustache standing smiling in a street with lots of flowers. We've got our man there. Let's see what he looks like. And you can see that it's just a zooming in shot and we get that nice smile at the end. But what I noticed, and you don't notice, notice this at first, but if you look at the background there, this looks okay, but at the background, you've got this car that comes out of nowhere and it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So what I thought to do was to use the controls to change the level. So let's see, we can change the camera angle to eye level. We've already done that and I'll show you what the result was. So here we've got the updated version and it takes about maybe about two or three minutes to generate. So it's fairly typical for a video service. And this is the updated video. So it's kept the general, I think we actually kept the same seed. And I think this is where the seed is important. Uh, let's go and see what this looks like. So this is now eye level and this adjusted one somehow managed to avoid all that nonsense with the car happening in the background. So we can keep the same idea and have a slightly different outcome. Now the same thing applies also for the images. So you can see here images which just repeating, you can see the same woman repeating in different images. And that's because it has this ability to keep the image the same as you change the prompt and you can get slight variations. It's much more sophisticated at doing that than sort of like the early stable diffusion models where you'd get completely different images. if You just change a single word. And here we've got close up one of the images that I created earlier. So this has been around for quite some time, but you can see they've added some quality, quality of life features like the ability to bring this back up again after you've closed the browser. You can also open this up in Photoshop web. I've been looking for a way of opening up the videos inside of Premiere Pro, but I think you have to download them and then open them up manually. There's another service where obviously you can bring an image in and create the video from inside of the image. Let's take a look at this bad boy here, the scene to image. I've had some problems with that, so I'll try and make it work this time again. So this is Project Neo that allows you to work with 3D designs. Let's see if I can get this to, to do what I want it to do. Let's do this and Okay, I'm sort of getting using my dimension knowledge here to try to Adobe dimension knowledge to try to get this to work properly. So this wasn't this was running very slowly beforehand. And in theory, we should be able to get some 3D designs from this, we should be able to use this to create pictures. Based. So this is very similar to the service, the NIM services that we saw from NVIDIA. 
earlier on in the video that we did about the RTX cards. Okay, so it's going to be the first time for me whilst you guys are watching. So there's a thing called a generate panel. And if you open up the generate panel, so you can create 3D designs here. There's a lot of options for creating your 3D designs. I imported this lighthouse. Let's go and go to the generate panel and let's see if we can generate something. Start generating images. You can generate from a wide range of standard features, including scene to image. Check your balance. Any, okay, my screen is not showing everything. So you just basically enter in your prompt and then it starts generating based, uh, I think on the image. Let's see what we get. So, wow, that looks fantastic. It took a while, but we've got four different lighthouses by the sea and it's a really nice interpretation. Uh, I really like that. I really like that. So this is something very similar to what we saw with the NIM services from NVIDIA. You can create a very basic depth map and then use the generator to create images from it. And this works in exactly the same way. It sort of turned this into a little house by the by the edge there, which which is <laughs> it just kept it as a brick. Uh, but yeah, that's basically how that works. So we've got audio, we've got video, we've got 3D all coming in at the same time. If you want to try it out, follow the links in the description. I think this could actually turn out to be a pretty good service as it improves over time.